Hi everyone. Well, first of all, I want to say that today is February the 19th and it's the release date for Made in 77. And I'm really thrilled about the, uh, the interest that's been shown over the last few weeks since I first put the video up just at the end of Christmas. Uh, Made in 77 was a piece of music that I wrote to celebrate the fact that I'd been in Iron, well, rather, I joined Iron Maiden 40 years ago in 1977. So it was finished and recorded and technically released before the end of 2017. But due to uh, the logistics of trying to put a track out properly over Christmas, I had to wait until today before we could get it in the, in the schedules. However, uh, a few people have asked me if there was tabs for it, and there are tabs, I can't write tabs really. Um, I can write the chord parts out, but this is a piece of music that's based around riffs. So um, I'm gonna just show you the riffs and then if you'd like to do your own version of it, I'd love to hear it. I actually wrote this on an acoustic guitar, um, but I'll show you the parts. There's basically four parts of the song. The main part, the main theme is this. Uh, and the way I play that is using the second finger on the B string, I hammer on to the third fret, which makes it a D. And then I play the open E next to it. And then I slide from the D on the B string up to the fifth fret, fifth fret which makes it an E. And then I play the open E string again. Then I slide back down. So. And then I hammer off to play the open B. So that's kind of the opening move, and that's kind of the, the shape of the riff, really. And then I'll do the same on the G string. So, but uh, starting on the um, third fret on the G string, and then hitting the open B string next to it, and then dropping down a semitone. So you get. And then down to the um, D string, and the second fret, playing the D and then the open G, and then the open, um, sorry, the open uh, G and then the open D. So you get this effect. Uh, and then you repeat it. And then just hold it on uh, that note, which is, which is a B. And then you repeat it again. And then to finish it, there's like a little trill on the uh, D string. Doing that. Uh, down to a C chord. And you just up do a kind of little arpeggio in the C. G. And then you've got this um, uh, two chord thing, which is basically a D shape, but just playing the two strings on the B and the G string. And you slide them up. So you get, so you get a, and then on the G string, you kind of hammer off and back. So all together. I know I'm not the best at explaining this, um, so but I will persevere. The next section is an E minor chord, and I play it with the second and the third fingers. Um, and but it's really a riff, so I'm putting those in position to play the opening. <laughs> Then open A to hammer on second fret. So you go. That's it. So you go. Uh, so that's open, second fret, open, second fret, and then back down again. And then a little chord thing, which is C, G. Uh, so 
So that's C, G, D, A. <laughs> Then the third section is this uh, kind of power chord fifth. So I'm only playing two notes here with some muted strings. And then going up. So that's uh, a semi tone, a tone. After the third one, I drop down and do octaves and uh, a chromatic scale up from the G flat to the B, up to the B, and then we start again. And then to finish it, it's just uh, an octave of A, octave of B, and then back to the rip. So that one goes. Then the final section is a kind of um, like a, a breakdown section. Uh, so after you've done the uh, the ascending the second time, you get to the B, then you drop down to an E, and now we're just playing chords and uh, kind of a slightly muted E, and then some, we open up on a G A, and then A G. G A C D F G A B back to the rhythm. So that's it. Then C and D back to the top. So those are the four sections really. Um, I know it's a bit of a mess, uh, but hopefully that will give you some clues. And I'd love to hear any of you uh, doing your own variations, whether you do an acoustic version or whether it's a band or how you do it, but uh, whatever. If you wanted to know the, you know, the genesis behind the song, uh, that's where it all came from. So please uh, follow the links in the uh, description down uh, below the video and uh, you can stream it, you can download it. Uh, you can find out my website, um, is everywhere. So uh, thank you very much. Have a great day.